Hey guys, today in this video, we're going to decide whether the price of the cube you're using actually makes a difference on your times. So let's get started. So this is a $40 speed cube, and this is a $12 speed cube, and this is a $5 speed cube. And we're going to be deciding whether the price variation in these cubes actually makes an influence on the times that I get on them. So let's get started. So here's how it works. What we're going to do is we're going to do an average of 5 on each of these cubes, and the end time that we receive for our average of 5 will help us determine whether or not these cubes actually perform differently based on their price. So we'll get started with the 40-ish dollar speed cube, which is the Waylong GTS 3M. So our official average for the Waylong GTS 3M, which is our 40-ish dollar speed cube, is 19.01 seconds. Now we will move on to the YJ Yulong V2M, which is roughly $12, I believe. So surprising results there, the YJ Yulong V2M, which is significantly cheaper than the Waylong GTS 3M, actually achieved a better average of 18.43 seconds. So now we will move on to our last cube for this video, which is the Yushin Little Magic. No magnets, no nothing, just five bucks on thecubicle.com. So let's see how it performs. Alrighty, so for the Yushin Little Magic $5 3x3, interesting results. This one was significantly worse than these two cubes. That was an average of 5 of 21.37. So interesting results there. So now on to the results of this experiment. So in first place was the YJ Yulong V2N with an average of 5 of 18.43 seconds. And this was actually the $12 speed cube, which is kind of interesting if you think about it. And in second place, we have the Waylong GTS 3M at an average of 5 of 19.01 seconds, which is our $40 speed cube, which is kind of interesting that our $12 speed cube beat out the $40 one. But that being said, I did have some pretty nice solves on the $12 speed cube. So I think realistically, the performance of these two cubes in this price range were fairly similar. And then in last place was the Yushin Little Magic 3x3, three three, and sort of as expected, this one didn't have magnets, and it's a pretty cheap puzzle, realistically. At $5, you can't expect a whole lot. Its average of 5 came in at 21.37 seconds, which actually basically breaks a record for my worst average of 5 for like the last month or so. So that being said, yes, it's a good cube, but realistically, it's just too cheap, and it just doesn't do it for you if you're really looking for some great times. So hopefully you found a video like this kind of intriguing. I was more so interested myself, which is why I made it. 
And I was wondering, did a $12 cube or a $5 cube potentially beat out a $40 cube? And the answer is technically yes, which I think says a lot about the moral of this video that the price of the cube that you have doesn't necessarily matter, because a lot of the performance is merely identical. So other than that, all I have to say is I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you next time.